RML and SMC have worked together to create an exceptionally good relationship and that shows in the end product. One of the things that I really loved about this project was the old school engineering approach. We received a sketch with this is what we're looking for and how can you help us solve the problem. Like all of our projects, uh, we, get, uh, we got SMC um, into the beginning end of the project during the concept and, uh, and design phase to help us select um, pneumatic cylinders, uh, linear actuators, vacuum systems, generally the entire pneumatic setup um, of, the, of the machinery. In this instance, RML required a high number of inputs for this machine, and the SMC EX600 was a good solution for this problem. It was also able to read all the inputs, regardless of the sensors used. RML were able to plug their switchgear into our network, and it could all communicate seamlessly. Another clever idea was to colour code the tube to differentiate the extension and retraction functions of the cylinders. SMC come in during the testing and, uh, and commissioning of the machinery. They help us out with, uh, with details, help the technicians out with any, any problems they might have. And then, uh, more importantly, they, uh, they pretty much went uh, above and beyond to supply us with rushed parts that we required during that uh, testing and commissioning phase. So the technical highlights of the machine that we built for TipTop are that it will receive 300 bars a minute coming from uh, TipTop's bar line, which is all of their ice creams that don't have sticks in them. We erect cartons at up to 75 cartons a minute. So after the bars are loaded into the cartons, they go through a closer, which closes the three external flaps of the carton. From there, they're fed into the case packer. The case packer puts them into the shippers, which then go to the supermarkets. And from there, the supermarkets take them out of those shippers and then put them on the shelf for retail use. This application has uh, some unique features in it um, to RML. Um, we have integrated uh, GoCater 3D uh, cameras into this uh, system where they uh, detect the bars as they are fed into the machine, uh, detects where the bars are on the conveyor belt, the angle they're on. The coding robots uh, pick and place the bars with the information fed from the go-caters uh, and place the, the bars into the boxes. We have to deal with an ice cream product that, uh, that melts very quickly, so we only got a short uh, window of opportunity to, to pack these, these products off. Uh, the footprint we had to fit the machinery into, it was tight. Um, no factories really have a lot of real estate for, for big lines to go into, so we had to uh, tailor the solution to fit the, um, the space we, we were working with. Another fundamental challenge we have with this project is, uh, is how we treat the bars. They are, they've just come out, of, they've just been manufactured, they've just come out of a blast freezer, so they've got a delicate skin of chocolate around them. So the Codian robot at times will hit linear speeds of up to 5,000 millimetres a second in the tip-top machine. Uh, they can move at over 7,000 millimetres a second, but they will not be pushed as hard on the tip-top machine due to the adverse effects it may have on the product handling. It's always such a satisfying feeling when you see a project through from start to finish. Most of all, the relationship we have built with RML has grown through this project. And we've once again shown that our local engineering capability is absolutely world class. SMC is very proud to be associated with RML and for the opportunity to work on this project.